Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. Last time we talked about the shift register. The shift register we have used to display data, some sort of data, on eight different LEDs. And if we are using eight different LEDs and put them into a certain pattern, we reach something like this. Okay? This is a so-called seven-segment display. Why is it called seven-segment display? It displays an eight, right? But this number, this number eight, consists of seven segments, of seven LEDs. Yeah? And those seven LEDs can be used to display all numbers. Yeah? And an eight LED is also built in as decimal point. So we have in this device, we have eight LEDs. Yeah? So we could use this device instead of the eight LEDs and display a number, okay? But the rest of the principle is the same. Yeah? So we have eight LEDs, we would expect eight times two, 16 connectors, but there are only 10, five on each side. What does it mean? Well, there are common cathodes, uh, common minors. Here you see all minors of my LEDs here. They are connected to minors. Yeah? So it does not really make sense to make a lot of connectors with minors. This device here, this special device, has two connectors for minors. Yeah? For ground. Common cathode, this is called. Yeah? What are the connectors? Yeah? How are they called? Here I have drawn. Usually the segments are called A, B, C, D, E, F, G and decimal point. Okay? And our ground are 8 here. Ground. They are numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah? And also 3 is a ground. Okay. These are the common cathodes. And if we connect them now, here, this one, connect to ground, and this one, also connect to ground. Good. Huh? Now, how are the other ones connected? Huh? Well, here, 7 is A. This is connected to A. This is connected to B. 5 is connected to decimal point. 4 is connected to C. 2 is connected to D. 1 is connected to E. 10 is connected to G. And 9 is connected to F. These are how those are connected. Yeah? And how to connect this now? Yeah? How to connect this now? Shift it a little bit so that you can also read it. Good. Yeah? How to connect this now? I will remove those LEDs. They are no longer used. The first one, yeah? the least significant bit, shall be A. So we connect it to 7. This is here. Okay, so this is A now. The next one shall be B. We connect it to 6. Hmm. The next one shall be C. So we connect it to 4. This is down here. The decimal point, oh, the decimal point I will put to the last to the last significant bit, or actually the most significant bit, yeah, here. LED number 7 should be the decimal point. Then the next one, CD is D, going to here. Okay. The next one is F, going to here, uh, E of course, E, C, D, E, now F, 
this is here and now G the middle one which is here and boop -a doop we are done okay now we've connected now we've used our shift register which is somewhere in this bunch of cables there yeah? uh, connected via three wires to our Arduino and we can display a whole digit yeah? how this is done because right now last time we only displayed we let one LED lit yeah? now we have to use select a pattern uh, we have to select a pattern for one for instance we have to light up B and C for two we have to A, B, G, E, D uh, for three we have A, B, G, C, D uh, and so on so we have for each each uh, number we have a certain pattern we have to use to light up this display correctly yeah how this is done how we can do this in software we will discuss in next video yeah. for this time thank you very much for listening and goodbye